<laughs> Raymond Scenes. New goal for the day. Don't add any new projects to the Bingo. list. I'm glad you're listening to me. <laughs> Let's get this thing completed and out of here. And hopefully by the end of this video, we'll see what those sweet things sound like. Where are we gonna start? We're gonna start with this belt tightening that uh, every time we start the truck up and you're like, oh, I forgot about this. Yes, let's uh, let's do that. So in the pe previous uh, belt tightening attempts, the skid pan was in the way because it was non-removable and it was a real booger to get to. <laughs> and that skid pan's been skid on. Skid pan's gone, so I no longer have that excuse. So, all right, let's see what, see what we need to do to make her happen. All right, so if you guys can imagine, the skid pan used to come right down through here, wouldn't come off. You gotta get way up in there to that little bitty bolt right there to get that thing to uh, slide over. So, let's see what we can make happen. I don't know how much this I'm gonna be able to video, to be honest with you. It is, uh, it's tight, getting up in there. like some random European size. I don't know if it's standard or metric. Or it's just wore out, one or the other. You're doing great, don't move, I almost got it. One more turn, maybe. If I did this two-handed without holding the camera, you probably wouldn't have to hold that position near as long. All right, see if it stays. Oh yeah, how's the belts feel? Oh yeah. Mucho tighter? Oh yeah. Good deal. Sweet. Oh. All right, project number one, complete. All right, next thing on the list is getting this skid pan back on. And uh, the skid pan, I got damaged at some point. Somebody made another one. They actually did a pretty good job making the skid pan. But they welded the pin in up here, which made working on all this an absolute nightmare. So I made a new pin. I had to make a small modification right there to get the pin to slide in. But this hinge point is bent. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, it's bent down right here. So we're gonna try to heat that up, beat it back up. So this pin, oh now it's stuck. This pin will slide through with these. We got a couple cotter pins, holes in the end, so that way we can just slide it in and out. We don't need there to work. That's simple, right? That's simple. Well, after some uh, clear miscommunication, <laughs> it works. Yeah. Look at that. I don't know oh, what let you. Me get that light there. Now they can see. I don't know what you were trying to heat up. But I thought this thing was bent like this, and I was wondering why you want me to beat heat over here so bad. I didn't realize that it was the opposite of what I was doing. You needed this end to go up, not out. So. Uh, yeah, when I was heating and what you were thinking, wasn't jiving until the end. <laughs> it was pretty, pretty clear. All right, uh, I think we're ready to put this skid pan back up, ain't we? Yeah. You're happy, no leaks, ain't yeah. dripped. It hasn't dripped since we fixed all the leaks in the other videos. Um, we have our wiring done down here. Heck yeah, let's close this button up. All right. <laughs> you got a plan? I got a plan. So uh, we're gonna we, hold that up and I'm gonna put the pin in. Whenever we took this off, gravity yeah. was in our favor. Yeah. 
So uh, I say we just flip the truck over and use gravity. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most uh, logical, logical way to go about this, right? Uh, you need your workout. <sighs> I'll do the hard part and get the pin shoved through. I've already done the hard part for you. Got the pin lined up. All right, here we go. You ready? I'm ready. I didn't have much trouble getting it down. I bet you didn't. I'm starting. Right, now I change it around. Okay. Perfect. I don't think your washers are gonna work though. Why not? Because the skid pan's in the way. All right, macho man. I got the heavy half. I'll let you have the light half. <laughs> I don't think so. It's the other way around, bud. <laughs> I'll let you do the easy part. I'll do the hard part. All right. Whoever made that skid pan didn't do a horrible job. It fits decent, but it's not perfect. No, no, it's not perfect. Oh, you're doing great. Moral, moral support from the peanut gallery. <laughs> you're, you're, you're so dramatic. Oh, I tell you what. See, look at them short legs coming into play down there. <laughs> I'll get my side. Look at Did you, you guys. I could not do that. There's, <laughs> there is no chance in HE double right. hockey sticks. Let's let that there for a second. All right. All right. Now let's go over to your side. And we're gonna get that tightened up. And we're gonna be on to the next adventure. What's next? We gotta work, work on grease lines? Yeah, we gotta get them done. Yeah, I don't sound like any fun. About them again. I think if we get them grease lines done, we'll have everything done. You know what I bet you didn't bring me? What? A ratchet with a socket. Uh. Dude. Nope, but I'll get you one. All right, grumpy pants. You ready for our next challenge? You're in a bad mood today. No, I'm in a great mood. I just like to see this truck done today instead of tomorrow. Because well, we have plans Okay, tomorrow, but so. you know what he's trying to sacrifice in case of getting this done? He's like, just put the camera down. Let's get the truck done. You're going to have I, a bunch of people mad at you. No, I did not say that. You just need to, you need to wake up. Because we're waiting on you. Well, it's because I lost my camera Tell again. Tell why. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll get, I'll get the battery. So our plan is we're going to get that in and pump that full of grease. Yeah, you got to tell them what this is? I got mad. You got to tell them what this is? Huh? You got to tell them what this is? It's a grease line. For? I don't know. I don't know where it goes. <laughs> on this thing. All right. So this cylinder right here that turns the truck, there's a pin way back up in there. Pin way back up in there that uh, it pivots on and this line goes up in there and supplies grease to that pin. It had an old steel line on it that was busted. So we're gonna replace it with a new hydraulic hose. It ain't been greased and hard telling how long. Uh, ever since I've had the truck, it's been busted. <laughs> but we're fixing that. All right. All right, I'm going in. You go in, I'll take this. I'm sure it'll work somehow. It'll work. Hey. All right, so now. My legs may be too long to put the skid pan up. I don't think your arm is long enough to reach this. Yeah, you can show them where it goes. I'm trying. Because I have no clue. It's, it's quite the stretch to get over there. Oh, come on. It's way up in there. You guys see it? Right there. No, I don't see it. Well, I gotta go overhead here, maybe. There we go. Uh, oh no. Oh man, I lost my little washer piece. All right, time out. Hold on. Oh, man. Oh. Don't look too bad from here. Yeah. Somebody's gonna be mad because I didn't clean that hole out, but I'm just lucky to reach the hole. Got it. Got it. Good. At least that part of it is. Perfect. You ready for one of these nine sixteen wrenches that you handed me? Yeah, the one you lost earlier? Right. I should have videoed the other side. It's easier to get to. 
what I said. It really don't look that bad from here. I bet it don't. It's like eye level for you. Pretty close. I need to make sure that hose, I think I'm gonna have to turn it a little bit to get that hose on there. That's how much hose I need, you gonna have enough? Oh yeah, yeah, we got okay. plenty. All right, you want to, uh, right there. You wanna pump that and get some grease to come out of the end of it before I tighten it down? Yep. Oh. Oh yeah. I hear it coming through. It will. Tell me when to stop. Yep, well, you're good. I can see it coming out right there. Good deal. One down, one to go. There's the other side on. It took grease as well. We got all the hoses zip tied off. I believe we are complete underneath here. You did. One day. Exactly. Well, I told you not to do it at the beginning of this video. What did I do? Get sidetracked on other stuff. That is not me. This is like two hours later from putting the front other end of these hoses on. You know, one day I think we need to do, I don't know how many hours we're in here, 12, 13, 14 hours a day, but we just need to do like a 12, 13, 14 hour live feed the whole day <laughs> so I can see how much I'm sitting here waiting around on you. Well, the good news, the brake caliper is not going to follow the truck. <laughs> see, I'm observant. I was underneath. I looked over and I seen a bunch of loose bolts. And it seems to be a very important part, like the part that stops you. But it was obviously Matt's responsibility to tighten down like 30 videos ago when we put the wheel seal on. So then we're like, we should probably check the rest of the brake calipers. And he had some loose friends as well. <laughs> yeah, he did. Quite a few. <laughs> Anyways. So, let's get back. We're back that. to where we started yes. now. So... This, you, you this is that. the other end of the hose. We're thinking, what are you thinking? Just tack weld that little coupler right there like that? I think so. I think that worked perfect. What I was going to do was I was going to kind of angle it right like this here. This is where I was going to ask you about. So get my hand out of the way. I was going to tuck it back in there. Where you just need to make sure you get the it. wrench on it, yeah? Yeah, like right there and have it like that. Yeah. What do you think? Well, uh, yeah, I think I'd only weld one side. So if we ever do need to pull it up off there. What is that? Um, if we ever do need to peel it up off, it'd be easier to break off. You know what I mean? I don't like that. You're going to have to wait for it off. All right, you're going for it. I'm going for Commitment. it. Now, if it was me, I would have put it at the same angle as this, so it was aesthetically pleasing, but... That's how it was supposed to be. I couldn't hold it. Because you were it in was, too big a hurry. I got gloves on to help you. But I got uh, it to where we can twist it. Twist it? Yeah. All right. Either, either way, it's better than what we had. <laughs> <laughs> this is like camera action right here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about runs. Mine, you can't even see. I come over here to check his, uh, check his nice paint job out he done here. He's blaming it on oil or something, but. No. What? Look at that, it's smear paint. <laughs> <laughs> so. This is what happens whenever you probably don't shake your can. Oh really, now blaming it on that. Blame it on I'm gonna blame it on the painter. Well. Let's see, let's see how good you do here. Oh, I see another run coming. Hey, quit painting the yellow black. Gosh dang it. See, yeah. you have the camera on. See, you go yeah. Right, don't you yeah, have some holes right. to cut or something? Yeah, I do, but I, I had to get this on film. I just want to show your runs. I'm glad you didn't miss an opportunity. <laughs> hey, that'll make the truck run better. <laughs> yeah, it will. All right, so this truck here, 
This is what we use to tie down the truck when it's on the low boy trailer. Show them our issue. Somebody got too big of hooks. Well, yeah. It's just not really super convenient. Now, we could put some big shackles in there and leave them hang up here, but I'm afraid they'll disappear or they'll vibrate off or something. I don't see no reason why we can't notch out the back side of that hole. And make it fit. And make it fit and make our life yep. so much easier. Because on the back side, they're already oblonged. Yeah. And they fit right through. So, uh, I said we go torchy torchy on it. Yep. I agree. It's not gonna take, uh, it's not gonna take as much as I thought. That line's drawn straight as you can oh. cut. I tell you what, so this cut's bad, it ain't me. No, so listen till you go already. I follow your line. Well, that's hot. I can already tell you're not following my line. You're not. You're not. Oh, easy now. That's a bucket of fuel. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That is way better. That's going to be so much nicer. All right. Get that one cut out to match. We're on to the next one. Me, huh? no. No. You ready to try to fix some flat tires? Yeah, I'm ready to try it. All right. So you want to you, you want, you want hear the long story? I'll watch the first two and then I'll do the second. Well, we're only doing two. <laughs> this is experimental I'll places. Get good I'll get the good All right, experience. so I'm sure we could have a tire shop come in, break these down, put new, all new O-rings on them. We had a tire shop, put an all new tire on that one, and it still has a slow leak. So we're gonna go the liquid seal it route. You want to know a fun little story? Yeah. I was at a trade show, real asphalt to be honest. I was talking to the liquid tube guy. The guy invented it. Yeah. I said, "Hey man, we got a truck we can use that stuff on." I said, I was going to buy it. And I said, we can get you some exposure on YouTube. You know what you tell me? I said, nobody watches YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay, conversation over. Nobody watches YouTube, apparently. So, anyways, I did the uh, responsible thing in the uh, no hard feelings route. And I went on Amazon. I bought liquid tube because, honestly, it was the cheapest stuff on there. And it has good reviews. So, I was going to go ahead and buy it and use it. And they sent me this. <laughs> 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 Which is not liquid tube. But... Uh, Amerisil, I don't know if it's a version of liquid tube, I'm not smart enough to figure it out, but it's actually like $100 more on Amazon than liquid tube. So we're gonna take it. Yep. It is what it is. So, all right, if you read the instructions for this size tire, it needs 312 ounces of that. There's 128 ounces in a gallon, according to Google. I'm not that smart off the top of my head. Uh, 312, that's like what, 2.4 something gallons. So basically we need half that bucket. Mm -hmm. Now, no. I, bought, I bought a pump, but here's the issue. <laughs> this pump is for a slime bucket. <laughs> but I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think it'll still work. Oh, come on, come on. Oh yes, oh yes. And then we got the valve stem core out right there, but I gotta put this fancy adapter on there because as Stanley the Dirt Monkey would say, it's got one of those retarded ones on there, even though it's just a, oversized valve core. We got this fancy little thing here. Should clip onto there. All right, so that's 10 ounces per pump. So you need, what, 32 pumps? So we gotta keep track of that. <laughs> yeah, but. 32 pumps. 32 pumps. 32 so pumps. we need to go 36. Probably, well, how many other pumps it takes to fill up yeah. the hose, we need to add that. So we don't need to start counting. Oh, look at, look at that. Oh. Oh, look at that. So now we start counting. Yeah, so count. Ready? 
You count. One, two, three. We'll, we'll be back at 30. Four, the eight. <laughs> 29, 30, 31, 32. You made it. That's working. It's like waiting, like the cartoon thing, waiting for the dynamite to go off. Yeah. All right, I guess now we put air in it and drive it around, hope for the best. Oh, the sad part is, I ain't ready to drive yet, so maybe we should have done this last. Well, at least it's in there and ready to go. Okay. All right, and here's the next problem the large core. Air Chuck yeah, is, in, is. is in thunder. Yeah. So we're going to have to go get it. We're going to have to get it. Well, tires look good for now. Stall. I forgot to count pumps on the second one, but I'm gonna go with it was 32. <laughs> All right, for now, we'll drive it around and see, uh, see what happens. You know what I'm thinking though? I'm thinking that tire pump can double oh, as yeah. a gear oil yes, pump. Yes, sir. Well, we got her cleaned out good. Yeah. We'll be in good shape, so. Pumps twice as quick. <laughs> it does, it does. It pumps really good. Yeah. All right, we're gonna grab some lunch and then uh, we gotta record. A podcast. You think everybody on this channel knows we have a podcast channel? I said I should. A few points are perfect. Yep. Find a few points are perfect on uh, YouTube. I'll try to link it down below. And uh, we try to get them posted on Apple and Spotify and all the other good ones. we got like 40 episodes posted if you guys haven't discovered the podcast channel yet. But we got a guest coming up. Going to knock out a podcast. And then... Can we call these the pipes of the organ? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get this installed. We are so close. So close. All right, just got our podcast recorded. Yes, we did. It went well. Very well. A few points from perfect. Yep. Here, you and Matt teamed up on me. I'm not sure how yep. I feel about that. All right. You wanted, you wanted to team up against us, so we teamed up against you. <laughs> You've managed to do that. All right, what's the plan? Let's get these stacks on here. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we get the rack up there, get it okay. installed. And then uh, flip and then, the stacks over and put them on. Yep, and we'll get them up there, and then that way our mounts got all the weight laid back in. We'll tack it up, and then we'll pull it back off. It's all good. Weld it out. I think that thing's lined up. I just hand it up there to you. Oh, yeah. You ready to go? I think so. I'm ready. Let's do it. You ready? I'm ready when you are. This thing's a lot lighter than it's down low. I'm not sure how. Bolt the top first. Yeah. Oh. Okay, you're good. All right, this side started. Which one do I need to go? Uh, let's go up just a shade. Okay, it's two started. Or maybe this thing. Oh, I think in there. You. you know what I just uh, was thinking? What's that? It's gonna be a little more difficult to uh, flip them stacks over and get them up here. You oh, to... you don't think you'll be able to get them up here by hand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have at that there, bud. It's going. Is it going? What'd you do? Oh, it's definitely cross through. Yeah, it is. But uh, tighten this top one up first to get it straight or get it up. All right. 
Oh. <laughs> <Again>. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dare I ask what your master plan is here? Rigging 2.0. Rigging 2.0. This looks like rigging hope and prayer. <laughs> yeah. So I think as you come down on yours, I'll come up on mine. That's how it's going to work, huh? Well, I can't reach them as good as I can reach this. <laughs> So basically we got uh, the rack sitting down on the mounts down here. We're gonna tack the stacks back off to the rack. Yep. And pull the whole thing down, weld her out. Yeah. All right, let her rip, better chip. You got at least one BB that burned in the glass, but I'll let you slide on that. Oh no. If we could put something back there to cover it up. Can you hold it back? Yeah, just keep pressure on it. Right there. Ready? Yep. All right, and then what do we do with our little pieces? They are on the welder. On the welder. All right, we got the top tacked off, and these are meant to go like that right okay. there. Look at that. I like that. That, that is looks, beautiful. That looks clean. I'm glad I told you to do it like that. Oops. You ready? Yep, go. Perfect. All right, we're gonna get that tacked off. We got one more to go right here. We gotta take this whole thing back down to the saw horses, weld it out, touch up the paint, and come back for one final install. All right, we're back on the saw horses. Aaron's gonna get all that welded off real nice. We're gonna get the paint touched up on it and fly it back up there. I really like our mount setup. Yeah. Well, that carries all the weight and the rack just keeps it upright. Yep. That, uh, I'm glad we, and that, that, all, that whole thing looks good too. Yeah. Looks really good. Turned out really good. All right, weld away, welder boy. All right, here we go. Got her all welded up and looking good. Got her all taped off and ready to paint. I think you're gonna have a little touch up from your strap there, bud. You wanna talk about the paint for a second? I don't know where I'm talking about the paint. Oh, what's going on? I didn't have this problem with the Mac. 
I'm telling you, that paint, maybe we're doing something wrong, but that paint sucks. But I mean, you look where I welded. Oh, it works good it there, works but it good. don't, but it, it don't. Heat, but These it, were prepped better than any other thing we prepped. I know, it, and it I think just, it shows and the they, video. And they dried for, what, four or five? No, no they were over right. the weekend, four days. Weekends, so yeah, it's Tuesday. I just don't. Uh, Tuesday, three thirty, four o'clock. I ordered some good paint, but somebody got a little too impatient waiting on it. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> I see this thing roll down the road. All right, get her painted. Let's put her up there. It is what it is. I like that. It, it sprays good. Yes, it does. Don't let it, don't let it run. No, don't. Hey, you know one thing that did stick good? Where's it at? On this side. I'll be looking for it. Don't be like, see, you can't even find it. Well, you, you, can, can't you can see it plain as day when it's the right side of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that setup. That is by far the best setup we've had so far. Yeah. I like it a lot. These brackets first. Like Missed a spot. First coat. Yeah. Just check and make sure you're paying attention. Go. Oh. Damn. That was just tanking. We are so close to having her up there. So close. Oh yeah. So time to unwrap this present and install it one last time. Let's go. Oh good. Look at that. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, I don't think it's just saying a whole lot, but I think it's going to be the best looking thing on the truck. <laughs> <laughs> we had pretty low standards to start with, though. All right, up, up, and away we go. One last time. Yes. How many times do you think we've taken these things on and off the truck between this version and the oh, first version? Uh, <laughs> we thank, just won't talk about it. Thank goodness for the crane. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's get them in their final resting place. Took a little bit of wiggling to get her in there, but by golly, she fit. Oh yeah. All right. My side is tight. My turn. It's the third time we've attempted to film this clip, if anybody's wondering. Yeah. <laughs> Never did work once, wrong socket twice. All right. But I am, uh, man, that mount system is absolutely awesome, ain't it? It is. Sweet. We've already oh, tightened yeah. that one up, so don't freak out. Yep. All right. <laughs> now, Good, now. now we get the fun part of hooking up the exhaust pipe. Yep. That's next. That's it. There That's it is. It. All right, you got a master plan on this? Well, I guess it's gonna go up pretty easy. <laughs> I like your optimism. Now, as far as uh, we gotta hook all this up down here too. Oh yeah, you took all that loose to paint wherever yeah. we had it clocked just right yeah, where we need. That's what I said. Look, look how easy this is gonna go in. All right, hold on. Let me get situated here and I'll help you. All right, so you want me to put this up on there? I think I need to get on here first and get slid up before you try to go. 
Or do you want to slide over top of oh, your? I'm thinking I need to go on mine first. Okay. Like that. And this will actually be. Uh, I can help you here. Uh, uh, oh. Hurt here helping you. Should be going ahead. Uh, you're getting there. There, there it I'm is, up. right there. Yep. All right. Now what? Now, uh, do we want to bolt this up? Well, do you want me to go ahead and put a clamp on this up here so it don't come off? Yeah, oh yeah. I need to get it angled that way just a little bit more. See, that's gonna be... This bottom's gotta be like right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, you ready to go up? Uh, yep, let's do it. Okay. okay. Uh, like turn that. There we go. Yeah, you can put that wherever you want. You like it? I like it. I like it a lot. I like the bottom, I like the top. Oh, I see one thing. I need, need to oh, pivot so on off that. Which way? Ah. There. More fun than that, ain't it? Yep. Feel off of it? Yep. Close to it. It's stuck. All right. Yeah, you need to go up. You ready? Yep. I need to go up, but this needs to go down, don't it? Yeah. There we go. Well, that's about where you need to be, ain't it? Yeah, you're off of that, you're off that, uh, that bolt back here by about a half inch. Okay, so it should be exactly where you need to be. I'm tightening her down, you ready? Yep, go ahead. Man, I like this bracket too. This all worked out so well. I think these are the last yeah. two clamps right here. I hope they work. Well, you gotta put the pipe in there oh, first. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. They won't work. I gave you the wrong ones. We need step clamps, and those are solid clamps. Step clamps? Yeah, well, because. Won't work on them. No, but uh, stay tuned. I think I got what we need over here in the good old fashioned box. Lucky for you, I got two of them. Good. Let's try these instead. See how it's got the, uh, oh, lovely Truck Pipes USA, folks. Mm. So how's this work then? <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I guess it's running. Remember the last time. episode, Truck Pipes USA? Yeah. There you go. Uh, all right. Uh, think we can rubber mallet that out? Uh, I don't think we got anything but an option. I may have one over there left over from Lieutenant Dan when we took it apart. Check and see if this okay. one's any better. Um, hopefully we got nuts in there. Yeah, I'll drop them on the floor. Oh, okay. oh we got one good one. Yep. All right, That's so let's see if I can find another one. All right. Found us a good used one. Good. Donation from old Lieutenant Dan. All right. All right. That one there. You got the nuts? I got the nuts. Where might your nuts be? Right here. <laughs> Regret right asking that question. <laughs> That's twice you got my nuts. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Uh, you got the piece. Yeah, we got the space now, here. Uh, what's that flex? 
if I stay right before that weld, I should be right. I think that's the way it's looking out. Uh, get that right about there. Yeah. Man, that looks good. Oh, yeah. Now, the question is, do I have Can't the right? Feel like I'm up against it. You ready? Yep. Do you need this turned a little bit? No, I need a different size socket. Must be a high dollar clamp. It's got more. And now I need a wrench. Well, that's what I mean. You didn't want to turn that more? I can't get the impact on it there. She is on. It is on. Man, she's uh, she's a thing of beauty. Yes. That exhaust pipe routing, the dirt shield, the bracket. Man, everything just come out. Awesome. Yeah, dude. Yeah. One thing left to do. Yeah. One thing. You gonna do it? I'll do it. Let's fire it up, see what it sounds like. Let her rip, Tater Chip. I gotta make sure my hands are clean. I just cleaned everything. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the alternator belt don't squeal. Yeah, let's see if you fix that. Mind scenes has been quite the adventure on this truck the last week and a half. It has. But uh, I think she's paid off in pretty spectacular fashion right there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's not a, another haul truck in the world that's got a set of exhaust stacks on it quite like that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and think about all the oddball odds and ends stuff we got fixed on this truck. Yeah. It's almost back to factory standards. I wish, I really wish we didn't let it build up a little air pressure so they could have heard the one other sound we fixed. Oh yeah, the horn. <laughs> <laughs> I think they like this sound better than yeah, the horn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got a few scraggler things. We got some parts ordered for a diaphragm on the locker. We got a new shock ordered for the door. And I think I come across a spare tire. We may take that one tire off over there and uh, put it on the shelf for a spare and then put another good tire on. Put that one on there, we got a good set of tires all the way around this thing. Can't wait to see the shelf you put that tire on. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it might be the lot. <laughs> but uh, I think for the most part, for video purposes, she's ready to go back to work. I think so. I'm ready to get on the job and see what she sounds like. Question is, what's next? Mm. What is next? What is next? 
It, she it, parts. it could possibly she be. Parts. If you don't tear nothing up and the weather stays nasty, <laughs> it might be Lieutenant Dan. So we may be yeah. back on Lieutenant Dan. I don't want to promise it because then something will yeah. go haywire yeah. and it'll be a disaster. But that's going to be a wrap on this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. If you uh, haven't checked out the other videos on this truck, check them out. If you don't know what Lieutenant Dan is, entire playlist on the channel of that uh, project, check it out. And then uh, if you haven't, consider subscribing because we can do all kinds of crazy and weird stuff around here. Yes, we do. All right, it's uh, dark again, dark again. as usual. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them bye. We're out of here. Y'all right, have a good night.